pH and solubility. The pH of a solution can greatly affect a salt's solubility. So let's look at magnesium hydroxide as an example. Magnesium hydroxide dissolved in water has a KSP value of 8.9 times 10 to the minus 12. That means it's not very soluble in water. And we can write the dissociation. So we have magnesium hydroxide, which will dissociate into magnesium ions and hydroxide ions. If we were to add a base to this solution, we're increasing the hydroxide ion concentration, which would shift the equilibrium towards the left and decrease the solubility of the magnesium hydroxide. If we were to add an acid to magnesium hydroxide, the hydrogen ions from the acid would react with the hydroxide ions and form water. Therefore, we decrease the concentration of hydroxide ions, which would cause a shift in equilibrium towards the right and increase the solubility of magnesium hydroxide. Let's look at silver phosphate. Silver phosphate has a KSP of 1.8 times 10 to the minus 18. So again, it's a very slightly soluble salt. And we'll write our dissociation. So we've got our silver phosphate breaking up into our silver ions and our phosphate ions. Now, if we add an acid to that solution, the hydrogen from the acid is going to react with the phosphate ions to make hydrogen phosphate ions. That, in turn, decreases the phosphate ion concentration, which will shift the equilibrium towards the left or right, which will increase the solubility of silver phosphate. Now, let's consider silver chloride for a second. We've got silver chloride, which will break up into silver ions and chloride ions. But by adding an acid to this solution, we're not going to change the solubility of the silver chloride because the hydrogen ions are not going to react with the chloride ions since the chloride ions are a very weak base. That is, the hydrochloric acid is a very strong acid. And since there is no change in the concentration of the chloride ions, when we add the acid to the solution, there will be no change in the solubility.